start recording. All right, today we're going to continue on with our conditionals and uh, writing a program to use that in a in a BMI calculator, which is a body mass index calculation. And the formula that we're going to calculate here is the the number the weight how much they weigh in pounds times 703 because the BMI formula is is done in kilograms. So we have to convert that. And then our height in inches to the power of 2 divided by height in inches squared. So this is, this is roughly what our program is going to look like. So the first thing we need to do is prompt the user for their height. So we need a variable to store their height. So I'm going to call it height. That sounds pretty good. We're going to assign that whatever the user types. And we want it in inches, So which is a, is a number. Dot two i, all right. So let's use an integer for that, and we need to prompt them first. So we'll say, uh, print, uh, enter your height in inches, and then we'll do our gets. Then we need to prompt the user for their weight. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Enter their weight in pounds, and we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to do height and weight, call it weight. We're going to convert it to an integer as well. So now we've done uh, a big part of this. We had to get the data from the user. Now we have those in our two variables. Now we can do our calculation. So let's, let's create a whole new variable. We'll call it BMI. And we want to assign that this, this uh, calculation here. So Let's just do it exactly like that. Our weight we already have as an integer, so we don't need to convert it again. Weight already holds that value. So we're going to say weight, weight, 8 times 703. And we're going to then divide that by the quantity of our height to the power of 2. All right, so with parentheses, it's going to do this calculation first. Then it's going to do this calculation. Then it's going to take the result of those and divide them up. Um, and our BMI then will be what type of data? What type of data is held now in our BMI variable? It's an integer because I don't have anything in here that is a, a floating point number. So it's going to leave it as an integer. So let's see how that works. So now the next part of the assignment was to look at print out something to the user based on this table of information. So I'm going to copy this over here so I have it as a reference. And we need to print out uh, what happens if they're less than 16, if their BMI is less than 16. So how do we do comparisons in our program? If, right? We do an if statement. If something is true, then we don't want to do something. So the first statement is, what would I compare against 16? All right, if BMI is what? Less than 16, then I want to do something. And I want to print out that they're seriously underweight. All right. So let's, uh, let's stop here and run our program just to see if we can get anything else. And uh, let's just run it. I'm going to test what I have so far. So I'm entering my height in inches is, uh, how much am I? I can make it up. I'm 40 inches. I think I'm more than that. 60 inches. <laughs> Five foot, yeah. So I'm a little higher than that. Uh, my weight is 180. And it finishes. OK, so obviously, this if statement never became true, and it just printed out uh, nothing and quit. So let's, let's have a test here, and let's print out what our BMI is. Your BMI is, and then using the interpolation, I can put a variable in here, and it will convert it to a string. So I can just put the variable BMI and uh, let that run again. So let's run it so I can at least see what my BMI is. I think I'm more like 70 inches and 180. And so my BMI is 25. 
All right, so it skipped those. So I'm missing a, a bunch more conditionals here. So how do I add some to my if statement based on what you know so far? All right, else. So I can say else, else if. It, it take the e off. It's else if. Else if. Uh, it's just the way they wanted to write the language. Some languages use else. Some use else if like that. Uh, but we we use else if, and we need to compare the next thing. So what are we going to compare our BMI to? Greater than or equal to 16. Now, how do I do a compound Boolean expression? And, okay, I could use the word and. BMI is less than or equal to 18. Then I want to put uh, that they're underweight, right? All right, so this is a compound statement. This says, is BMI greater than 16? If that's true, and my BMI is less than or equal to 18, that's also true, then this entire expression becomes true. If one of these is false, then this skips that whole block again. That whole expression becomes false, right? Now, let's, let's run it again, and let's make me taller. Let's make me 80 inches and 180, and I'm still not there, so I just want to see if I can get into the, one of those if statements. Let's make it 190 and 180. There we go. I'm seriously underweight. That's not working here, is it? Um, my height was, one. did I do 185 and 180? Huh. Oh, 180 inches is pretty tall, isn't it? It should have been 90 inches and 180 pounds. There we go. So now I've got into the first one. My BMI was 15, which is, satisfies the first statement. It puts out seriously underweight. It then has satisfied some of this if, so it skips everything else and comes down to the end and, and would then execute this statement. Uh, thank you for playing or whatever. All right, it's going to execute this last statement at the end. All right, so I can continue this on, and I can say else if uh, BMI is greater than uh, what number now? Now is where you're going to get into a problem. Greater than 19? What if they're 19? Greater than or equal to 19, and... BMI less than or equal to uh, 24. Now, can I just do this? Um, no. Okay, just like in Visual Basic or what you know so far, each Boolean expression has to have a left and a right operand. So I have a left side of this greater than or equal and a right side. This will not work except in some SQL languages, yeah. If you put, the, put it in parentheses, would it at all? No, no, you, I could do this, put these in parentheses to make it clearer, but it doesn't affect the uh, calculation. All right, so then I'm going to say puts normal weight, else if, I'm going to copy and paste these because we're running out of time. Uh, greater than or equal to 15, I mean 25 and 29. 25, 29. They're going to be uh, overweight. We'll copy and paste two lines at a time, get this done quicker. 25 and then it's 30 to 35. Greater than or equal to 30. Less than or equal to 35, they're going to be seriously overweight. All right, uh, and one last one. 
Now, since I only have one thing here, do I have to test that it's greater than 35? I can just say else, right? I can just say whatever else happens, I'm going to put that uh, you are going to die. All right? Whatever. Whatever I want that gravely overweight. So let's run this and see if it works. So let's put my real, I'm uh, 70 inches and 180. So I'm overweight. And we'd have to test all of these. Let's say I'm 40 inches and 180. Then I'm going to die. All right, so my BMI was really high up there. Uh, let's do a really small one where I'm 190 inches and three pounds. Then I'm seriously underweight. I'm zero as my BMI. So we were able to write this uh, using a lot of if and else ifs, and I think that's important to just see how we can write that. There's a, other ways to do this, uh, shorter ways to do this, but this is uh, a way to do it. All right, any questions on this? Yeah, there is. There's a switch statement in Ruby that are much like JavaScript and other languages have that as well. So, all right. Any other questions? All right. Go dream about Ruby. <laughs>